In this video, we're going to look at how to use the different track types in the Timeline Editor window. We're also going to look at how to record and work with animation data. Assets, controlled by a timeline sequence, are displayed in the Timeline Editor window as tracks. As you can see in this example, we currently have a couple of tracks in our timeline assigned to some game objects. We have two tanks and a character. Our character is waving at the tank in the distance. Our tank in the distance is assigned in our timeline as an animation track. Our character is assigned in the timeline as a clip track. In our additional video, we'll discuss how to work with clip data and clip tracks. Let's suppose that we'd like our tank beside our character to rotate its turret around and look at the tank in the distance. Let's create a new animation track for the turret of the tank. Using the record button on the track header, we can record data into the animation track. Let's rotate our turret to a position we'd like it to start in. Then, let's scrub through the timeline to a suitable end position and rotate the turret to look at the other tank. We can continue to make changes and move along the timeline to make additional recorded keyframes in our track. And now, when we play back our timeline in preview mode by clicking the play button or hitting space on our keyboard, Timeline will play the recorded animation data on our tank. When we're finished, we can simply click on the record icon again to disable recording. If we wish to make any changes to our recorded data, we can either click on the curves icon on the track and make changes to the curve data within the Timeline Editor window itself, or double-click on the track to open it in the animation window and adjust our keyframes and curves accordingly. Now let's say we want our tank in the distance to fire and we'd like to activate this explosion effect on a game object, which is currently deactivated. Let's drag it into our timeline, choose activation track, and position the clip at the point in the timeline we'd like the game object to activate. Then, if we play the game, we can see that the particle effect now activates. We can change the behavior of a game object after an activation clip ends by changing the post playback state in the inspector. It's worth noting that if at any point we rearrange assets in our hierarchy, and change their position relative to their parent. This information will not be updated in our animation data in Timeline. So, we can select the animation track and use the Apply Track Offset settings in the inspector to return the newly parented game object back to its desired position in our scene. With more complex timeline sequences, we might have a number of different animation and clip tracks for various assets, and our timeline editor window could end up getting quite busy. For instance, in this timeline, I have a number of different game objects that I'm controlling with activation clips and animation tracks. To make it easier to work with, we can use a track group. A track group allows us to assign other tracks in our timeline as children. To create a track group, we can right-click in the Track panel, or click the Add button, and choose Track Group. To assign a track to a track group, we can simply click an existing track, and drag and drop it over the track group header. 
We can also create a new empty track as a child of the group by using the plus button to the right of the header. Using the drop down arrow, we can then show or hide the track group's children. We can also add and sequence audio sources, such as music, into our timeline sequences by creating an audio track. Let's drag an audio source from the project window into the timeline. This creates an audio track and an audio clip in the timeline for us to work with. It's worth noting that currently, audio tracks do not work in preview mode and will only execute in play mode. So you must enter play mode in order to preview and edit the audio clip. If you would like to learn more about how to work with clips and clip tracks in the Timeline Editor window, please see our additional lesson. For more information on control tracks and playable tracks, as well as more information on Timeline and additional Unity tutorials, Please follow the links below. Thanks for watching.